it's I, I don't know. So one of the things that that I, I like to hear is, is kind of create a dot in that position and then to find another place where it where it hits perfectly on the uh, on the grid and you just count the down and then to the right. So how many down is this one, two, three, three, three over one, uh, two. Now, because you're going down, it's a negative slope, negative three over two. All right. All right. So now we have to write the equation of the line. The, the equation of the line is y equals mx plus b. And we have m <laughs> and we have b. So it's y equals minus three halves x plus b. But this is only true if it's a line. OK, this is actually a dashed line. Uh, so we change this to either a greater than or a less than. Do you remember from class how to decide whether it's a greater than or a less than? Um, side off the bottom. Okay. No, I, I, I don't okay, remember. So, so if it's shaded above, if it's shaded above, it's a greater than. All right. And if it's shaded below, it's a less than. Now the math is full of exceptions, okay? And and the, the this this works when it's solved for y. So it, it works for what we're doing uh, in this problem here, okay? So since it's shaded above, we can say that it's greater than. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of three or four pieces to put together here to get the right excuse me, the right answer. But that's only for line one. We got to go to line two and do the same thing. So can you tell me the uh, the slope of line two or the B value? Either one is good. Uh, I bye. Can you tell me the B value? Can you tell me where it crosses the Y axis? All right, so it's the B value. Oh, it's a, it's a one, positive one. Pos positive one, good. Okay, now to find the slope, you've got to get two points, two nice points, two friendly points, okay? Um, so and this one looks pretty friendly there. It's one, at one, three. Okay, so it's down one, but it's not right three. It's it's only right two. You're just counting, just counting one and then two. One and then two, okay? But the problem is it you have to designate direction. Since you're going down, down in terms of slope is negative, negative one half, because you're going down one and right two. Okay, mm -hmm. so our, our, our equation would be y, and then it's mx plus b, but instead of m, we're gonna replace it with minus one half, and instead of b, we're gonna replace it with positive one. Now, is the is the graph here, is it shaded above line two or above. below line two? It's above, so we use greater than. So the two the two equations or inequalities that I'm boxing in that's your system that's what your instructor is looking for for a final answer all right okay so the next two problems are very much the same we should at least do four um we'll, we'll uh see if we've got time for five or if we need to move on to uh another question here but let me make this a little bit bigger so you can you can um if you're using the screen you can count uh, let's let's do line one is the one that's more vertical. So for line one, we need the slope and the B value. Oh, the slope and the P value. Yeah, so and I'll take I'll be there. B is a two. Okay, so I think you're looking at the second, the this this uh, other line here. I, we, we've got to be very careful for which one we're doing it oh, for. Oh, so uh, negative, negative two. Yes, negative two. So for the slope, uh, again, just it's good to grab that uh, 
that point and then find you got to find another one that's nice it actually looks like the nice point is where they intersect there and you're counting you know rise and run can you tell and you're just counting you're just counting up from this negative two you can just count up oh, by so one, two three four five sorry I was, I was distracted okay so go ahead and count give me the slope of this of this first line so six over one so you're just counting right one that yes, first six. dot two three four five five so you're not counting all the dots you're you're you have a starting point so that starting point doesn't you would not count that you count the first jump you make two three four five so it's up five and then right right one oh, is that okay are, are you are you seeing that yeah yeah i see it okay all right now are you shading above or below line one are you shading below above or be below and that means you're going to use the less than Okay, but since it's a solid line, I know there's a lot of like little pieces here. Since it's a solid line, it's less than or equal. So this this line here is when it's solid. So it's y equals mx plus b, but because it's an inequality, you're going to use the less than or equal to. And then you substitute the numbers for m and b. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at line two now. Just like before, you know, very repetitive uh, slope and B value. What is the slope? What is the B value? The slope and the B value? All right, yes. so the B value is, um, uh, uh, oh, is just two. Yeah, it's wherever it crosses the uh, y-axis, okay? And uh, we actually already have the nice points labeled. Uh, you can see that one there. I know there's a lot going on on this, uh, but that's the case. What is the slope for line two? Uh, the slope for line two? Um, it's... It's... Um... Oh, crap. So let's look at another place in the graph. So here's another dot and here's another dot. How many up, how many right are you going? How many up, how many right? Yes. Um, going up one over one. Yes, so the slope is one or one over one, which, which is one. Mm -hmm. All right, now, are you shading above or below line two? Below. Below. So again, it's a less than or equal to. Can you write the equation for me? Can you tell me the equation for line two now that we've got everything figured out? Um, everything figured out? Okay. Yeah. Oh, line two. So you're using the equation of a line, mx plus b. You're changing the equal sign to less than or equal to. I'm asking you what the final final answer is for that one it's um uh why um why less than uh, uh five to. five x okay the slope is not five though the slope is down here oh uh one over one okay so we can say one x and what's the b value um two plus two. So keep in mind, Aiden, this is something that you do at the end of systems. Like this is the most complicated type of problems that you will you will do. Um, so I, you know, I caution you to like, you know, the, the it, this is tough. It really is tough to do this, um, especially if you're not, not sure how to do systems from the beginning. So uh, you're doing great though. Let's do number five. 
uh, just because I think one more problem really will help you figure this out for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna choose line one to be this one that's going uh, down and to the right. So for line one, we need the slope and the B value. So that's the one that's going this, this down and to the right, down and to the right here. Uh, can you tell me the uh, slope and the B value of that one that's going down and to the right? Uh, um, for, uh, all right, uh, it's uh, negative one of the B, the B is negative one. Good, okay, what about the slope? Slope is um is a uh, one one uh, over one or one under one I don't know. No, you're you're really close, okay. But but if so, the slope here and this is something uh, rise over run. So if it's if it's a positive number, that means it's going up, okay. So what I mean by that is let's just say you you imagine starting there where I've put the red dot. A slope of one over one means you're going up one and then right one. Is that where the, is that on the line? Is that on line one, this other dot? Um, no. No, no, of course not. Okay. So you have to be really careful with your, with your words. You're actually going down one. You're going down one and then right one. So down in terms of slope means mm. a negative, negative one over one. So the negative one means down. You're always going to the right. Always going to the right. Always, always, always. We read left to right. We kind of order things left to right. So the, the negative is only going to apply to the top number. All right. Now, next question is, are you shading above or below line one? Um, below. Below. So that's a less than. And then you ask yourself, is it a solid or a dashed line? It's solid. So that's where you put that, that uh, next thing. So you can start by writing y equals mx plus b. Okay, but you have to replace a couple of things here. You have to replace the equal sign because it's, it's an inequality. So you change that. You have to substitute the number in for m and the substitute the number in for b. So I'd like you to, to try that for me in this problem. Uh, turn it into LY equals MX plus B. Well, it, it, this is the this is if it's just a line. This equation that I've written is, is okay if it's just a line. I'm, I'm asking you to replace the symbols. Like it's not an equal sign. It's now a less no, than less or equal to. You, you, you don't write the M. You write the number that you found for M. You don't write the B. You write the number oh. U found for b so i'm asking i'm asking right, so, for the final final answer here all right all right uh y equal, uh y uh graded uh less than uh negative one over one uh negative one okay x x that has to be an x oh yeah x uh, negative one minus one good okay perfect all right so now for line two line two Okay, I'm just going to create a little more space here. So for line two, again, like for every problem we've done so far, it's the same thing. You need to find the slope and the B value. Yeah, I so, think it's uh, one over one uh, for, for the for the line. The slope. Yeah, for the slope. Okay. And and the B is uh, what's what that like a two? Yeah, it's, I think that's two. Definitely two for the B. Now, uh, with the slope. If, if it's one over one, that means you go up one and then right one. So is that dot on the line? No. No. So that's where it's but good it's to like, kind of keep going. Go ahead. But it's not, not, it's not perfectly aligned. How can I, you can only go on the line. Yeah. So what, what I had suggested is that, in, is that you, you draw two dots. You draw a second dot that's on like a perfect oh, intersection. So it's one over two. Yes, yes, exactly. One over two. Good. Okay. Now, are you shading above or below line two? Below. Below. So that's a less than or equal to? 
Mm -hmm. So just like before, I'm asking you to write the equation now. All right. So okay. it's y less than uh, or, or one over two. two. Or equal to. Yep. Okay. One half. Yeah. One half x uh, plus two. Good. Okay. Fantastic. Good job, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so any questions on those three problems that we did? Uh, not at all. Good. OK, so we're going to move to uh, problems 6 through 10 on, uh, on your assignment here. Are you ever allowed to use Desmos? Yes. OK, I want us to use Desmos for these. Um, have you oh. used it before? Are you comfortable with it? Uh, yes. All right, <laughs> so let me, uh, let me okay. share my screen. And hold on, I ha hold on one second. I hugged my dog too hard. Sure. <laughs> and he's hurt. Well, uh, just keep going, in and don't worry about the dog. I, come on, he's an old man. I could have hurt him. I could have hurt him. Shh. All right, all right, yeah. All right, all right. Oh, that yeah, was good. I, all right, so give me just a moment here. I've got Desmos almost pulled up, so I'm going to switch sharing to uh, to Desmos here. Who is Desmos? It's a uh, um, uh, calculator for my calculator. Yeah, so it's a really cool tool that I, I'm glad your teacher allows you to use. Um, some teachers don't want you to use technology, but in the real world, we always use the right tool for the job. So uh, if, if, you're, if you're not familiar with where all the symbols are, they're down here, and then there's, there's even there's more even symbols <laughs> when you hit the functions uh if you you know if and when you ever need those you may not ever need those but most of the ones you're going to need are going to be in this in this palette here so we're going to we're going to just type what we see x Whoa. and then if you like clicking less than or equal to minus three and the nice thing about desmos as you know is it, it gives you immediate feedback like you don't have to hit the graph and this is shading everything left of minus three everything left mm -hmm. of minus three okay and then you just similarly go here and you type 5x plus 3y greater than or equal to negative 9. Now, different than what we saw before is, is this doesn't shade the only place where it overlaps. There's probably a way to do that, but you have to, you have to know, oh, in this region up here that it's, that it's, uh, that's overlapping. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a snip of this. And I'm going to put it into the uh, the notes that we've been working on today. Um, that way you've got it. Your teacher is expecting you to either take a snip or to graph from the uh, um, the Desmos, but put something down on paper. So let me go back to my other screen here. And we're going to uh, look at this graph here. So the... Uh, so the, the what I would add in here, since you don't have it, is I would I would make sure that you indicate that this is the line x equals minus three, and that this other line, the one kind of going down to the right, that it's the five x plus three y equals minus nine. Um, I think that's a good thing to kind of add in here, and then I would just emphasize that the shaded region is is that one in case in case it's not clear. All right. Now, the next part of the assignment is you actually have to look at this point and decide whether it's uh, true or not. OK, so I'm going to go back to the Desmos to uh, answer that. Uh, may, if you've seen this stuff before, I apologize, but I think it's good to see see it again. Um, so you actually just label the point minus four, four. And then I always like to label it that way. I know where it is. And you're just looking. You're like, is that in the shaded region? And it is. Like there's no you can zoom in if you're not sure, but it's it's in the shaded region, and that's that's all we're trying to figure out. That's that means that yes, it is a solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me go back to the other screen. Well, if that's all all that is, then yeah. and I think I can do that on my own. Well, we've got some time here, so let's let's at least do uh, one more. Uh, uh, so if you want to pick seven, eight, nine, ten, or uh, I can pick, which one would you like us to do next? I think I think just uh, seven. Seven should be good. Okay, sounds good. All right. 
All right, so uh, I've got these here. I'm going to uh, go back to the Desmos and uh, share that screen. Now you can keep going on this. You probably know that if you click on these on the left here, it, it undoes them, it makes them non-visible. A lot of students like to close them out. I, it depends on what you're doing. Uh, I, would, I will be closing them out, but just, it is, it is a fairly useful tool. Um, so if, you're, if you get more comfortable with it, there's a lot of opportunities to use it in other classes and for other things. So uh, like I said, I really like this because it, it, it gives you the dashed part already. It gives you the overlap between the two. Um, you can change the, like if you don't like the colors, you click on the gear and you can change the colors. There's like so many cool things you can do if you're into graphing with this. Um, and then I'm gonna graph that point zero comma two. And you can see this time, this time it falls right on the line. Like we keep on the line, okay? Now, because it's a dashed line, that means that it is not a solution. Okay, do you remember that from class or does that sound familiar to you? If it's a dashed line and it's on the line, it's not a solution. Yes, mm -hmm. no, maybe. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, it's in shaded. Okay. Just making sure, because I, I, you know, uh, never know what what teachers are saying nowadays in the classroom. All right, so I'm going back to the other screen again. Like you, you probably want to show which one is which. Uh, the the uh, you know they this one's equals nine, and this is the uh, x plus three y equals six, and then this point right here falls on the dashed line. So you would say that it is. Uh, it is not a solution. Mm -hmm. And that's really not, it. Um, not a solution? Yeah, not a solution. Now, if it fell on a solid line, it would be a solution. So let's just say this was a solid line, then it would be a solution. Mm -hmm. So it's a little fine nuanced thing, but um, yeah, that is uh, that is it. All right, so let me uh, stop.